Okay, so I got a little bit of water. Some stones require some lubricant to make it work a little better. This is the same instrument I was sharpening. I had sharpened and it wasn't even close to being sharp. So that's my point. When something's really dull, you gotta push almost as hard as you possibly can. Like my arm starts to hurt. And so watch me just linger and push. Do you hear that? I'm on the heel third. Yeah, this one's really needed to be sharpened. So this is a good example because it shows you how hard it is once you let them get really, really dull. Do you see? I'm still on the heel third and I'm pushing as hard as I can. Now I'm going to go to the middle third. Do you hear that? Toe third. I lighten up just a little because I'm scared of the toe third. I don't want to sickle it but I'm still giving it some good pressure there. And before I do the corner, I'm just gonna see how close to sharp I, I'm even getting. Do you hear that? Okay, great example. So I'm testing it now and you can hear it. I'm going straight in at the scaling angle, at the heel third, straight in and kind of popping it towards the ceiling. There's a knack to this. I never have been able to describe it very well, but heel third, pop. Middle third, toe third, slides. That's that corner I'm talking about. But here, let's try it again. Heel third, you can hear that snap. Middle third, it's scratchy. It catches. It catches, but it's a scratchy sound that I don't like as well. And this is very scratchy on that toe third. But because the heel is pretty sharp, I'm just gonna go to the middle third and the toe third because I tested that the heel was sharp. So now <clears throat> I'm, just, I'm gonna lighten up because it's very close to being sharp now and I don't need to push as hard. It was scratchy in the middle, not pingy. It caught, but it wasn't that nice crisp ping. So I'm going to go to the middle third. I'm, I'm a little lighter, a little just fine tuning here, hanging out. Actually, I'm still giving it a little bit of pressure here, but I didn't hang out as long. And now I'm on the toe third. And that wasn't sharp at, at all much when I tested it. So I'm, I'm giving it a little bit more pressure. You want to wipe that sludge off. Okay, I'm going to test the middle third. It's getting, see, it's still not quite there. See, this is how, this is a great example because it shows you how patient you need to be when something's really dull. And students give up too fast. They just don't linger enough. And I'm pushing almost as hard as I can because this stone is a little bit slick too. I think your stones have a little bit more. It, it might be the stone or it might just be the instrument is so dull that it's unusually dull. All right, let's try that. Okay, so heel, middle, toe, third corner. And the corner, if you see me do that, it's not very sharp. Do you hear that? That's the other section, but when I turn it, like you're gonna turn against the tooth, it slides. So I've always taught, and this might be a little different than what you've been taught, but I do the heel, the middle, the toe third, and then I very carefully do the corner. And how I do the corner is, it's already a little square, and you've probably been taught to round the corners off, but I sharpen it just a little when I know it's dull. So what I do is I, I go into a right angle to the corner and I can draw this for you too, if you want, but so I'm like this right at the corner. So I'm not straight, I'm not centered, I'm diagonal to the corner. Does that make sense? Kind of. I'm right going straight into the corner because I want to sharpen the corner. Are we talking about the corner of the toe? The corner of the toe, the mm -hmm. corner of the front of the, the Toe third of the toe. The, toe. the lateral third of the toe? Yes, the lateral third of the toe. Okay. Thank you, Vicki. 
Okay, so straight in and very light, very light, because you will wipe it out. And I'm rounding and kind of just, I had, I'm lingering just a little there because the bit with very light pressure, just because I want that toe to work. Do you hear that now? Yes. But yes, I didn't make it smaller because I was very careful, but you got to be real careful when you do that. So nope. now we've spent 10 minutes at least sharpening one side of a universal. And we got three other sides left to the universal. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. That's why you don't want to start with something really, really dull for your competency. Mm -hmm. For your competency, you want to start with something that was really sharp and just now got dull. <laughs> mm -hmm. Little hint mm -hmm. for next fall. Okay, so here's the other side. This one already is just a little sharper than the other side. So here's the thing, students. People fail their competencies all the time because they don't know how to test. They think they got it sharp because they can get anything to bite if they push hard enough. Let me try a dull spot. Okay, so this blade here is dull, right? So watch me just test it. It's completely dull. It's not biting at all.